uh, probably a boss, maybe two. Just do some quick testing just to show you guys uh, how, how good the build is. I think it's pretty solid. I've been working on it for a few days now. Since Lumbering Cold got nerfed, we've had to be a little bit more creative. Um, and I think this is a build that the majority of people will be able to run early on when Reaper of Souls is released. As long as everything change stays the same as it is now, I think you'll be able to enter Torment 1 pretty quickly after release with this particular build. Um, it has a lot of range to it, which gives you a lot of survivability and stuff like that. Um, so let's go over the uh, abilities real quick first. So as far as passives go, uh, we're running the the pretty much standard suite of Grave Injustice, Blood Ritual, Gruesome Feast. There's not really a whole lot to go over. You get mana and damage and e EHP out of Gruesome Feast. You get uh, a lot of all res, a lot of damage, and mana. Blood Ritual got nerfed out to 10%, but it's still solid, I think. I think it's still worth running. Grave Injustice is pretty much always a staple. The reason I'm running Rush of Essence is because of Spirit Barrage. Spirit Barrage is pretty much for single target uh, bosses, things like that. But with Rush of Essence, it pretty much turns it into uh, basically an ability to get mana back, which is nice. So like if you're just spamming Corpse Bomb, which is your main damaging ability, and you run out of mana, you can just start to spam Spirit Barrage and get mana back with Rush, which is really good. I like that. I think it's a lot better than trying to just run something like uh, Reign of Toads or something like that when you're out of mana. This is a lot more damage, and it's a lot better on bosses. Corpse Bomb is your main damaging ability. It does a lot of damage. It crits fully buffed. It crits for about 18 million or so. Uh, the majority of the crits are going to be for about 10 million, though. Slam Dance for damage, attack speed, pretty much elites and, and boss killer. Horrify Stalker and Spirit Walk for speed. Um, Honored Guest Rune for more mana back. This got nerfed down to 20% from 30, but it's still worth using. It's still necessary. Soul Harvest. Damage increase, also you get uh, all, res, all res out of it, which also, uh, you know, is good for your EHP, your toughness. And then uh, we're running the, the mana return rune. So that's that's the skills. As far as, uh, as far as item choices, pretty much any item that we can roll percentage to acid cloud damage on, we're going to do. So we've got 13% on the helmet, 14% on the offhand, 14% on the boots. We're running a Gidbin for a weapon currently. Really the only reason we're running this is simply because it's the best roll of a one-hander that I have at the moment. It's the only reason. It's not for the proc at all. Although the little guys, they do hit for about 800k or so, which I mean isn't irrelevant, but you can only have three out at a time now. Um, they nerfed this down to only three at a time, but it's fine. Uh, we have percentage to poison damage on our pants and our bracers which obviously boosts Acid Cloud. Uh, these were a Zekian Arm Guards. Every time you destroy a wreckable object, you gain a short burst of speed. That is a 50% increase in speed. Just about with a, maybe not quite 100% uptime, but I would say that I, I've got that burst of speed 70% of the time. So that's pretty solid. Uh, that increases your, your rate of farming by quite a bit. Running a three-piece Zuni set at the moment. Basically two pieces, the, the Maro and the String, and then this ring reduces the number of items you need for a set bonus by one. Um, so that gives us 250 int, 30 mana per kill, 75 all res, and 7.5 mana per second. Uh, then we're also running an Avarice Band. Each time you pick up gold, it increases your health pickup radius by one for 10 seconds, stacks up to 30 times. So with that and the rest of our gear, um, we only have five pickup radius at the moment this stacking up we get up to about 15 most of the time um, that's pretty much about it our, e our damage unbuffed is about 900k but that's not obviously including the percentage to acid cloud and the poison skills crit chance is let's see what's our crit chance at 58 percent 58.5 toughness is a little over 7 million um, so for the purpose of this video we're going to go ahead and uh, do this on Torment 2 for now, just to kind of showcase it. But like I said, I think the majority of Witch Doctors early on, when the game releases, you'll be able to get to Torment 1 with this particular build really, really fast with uh, just good rares. Like, pretty much just good rares will be enough.
So I mean like as you can see, like without even any buffs whatsoever yet, Acid Cloud's doing about 8.5 million or so on a crit. And for the most part, on, on stuff like this, you're going to be just spamming Acid Cloud. It's a pretty simple build to play, really. The only thing that you have to kind of get down is just your placement of Acid Cloud. Because it's really easy to not to hit, not to be efficient with how many enemies you're hitting with it. If you're not careful, because it's not really that big of a radius. That's definitely the most important thing. So obviously you can see the, boot, the boost in movement speed right there from the Bracers which is quite nice. I think it's really fast for killing white mobs and champion elite packs. It's a little bit slow on bosses, which I'll show you here in a little bit. We'll go kill Gom real fast, just to show you. Uh, but I think everything else, I think the, the sp speed of farming for everything else makes up for the fact that bosses take a little while to kill. Are you running Corpse Bomb, Mori? I don't think so. I haven't seen you running that at all. I will go kill. Go kill Gom real quick. So I mean I think this is the biggest weakness is just bosses take a little while to kill. It's not the end of the world. I probably should have had my slam dance slam dance up for this, but it takes a little while. It's not so slow that I think uh, it it really hurts the build that much. Definitely not lumbering cold before the nerf, but it's fast enough, I think it's okay. So that's that. I think it's pretty solid. I think everybody will be able to run it pretty quick in Torment 1 when the game comes out.